Hello everyone, uh, this is your homeboy Larry Ayla of the Atom Proud African LGBTI YouTube channel. This afternoon at Regent's Park, I have an important guest with me. It's Didier from Cameroon. Um, he's here to share another inspiring stories with us. I will ask him to introduce himself to you, our viewers now. Welcome on board, Didier. Can you please uh, introduce yourself to our viewers? Thank you very much for having me, Larry, and hello everyone. My name is Abeg Didier from Cameroon. I'm a gay man in London, probably residing in South London, in Croydon to be specific, and I'm happy to be with you today. Welcome. Thank you. Um, as a gay man from Cameroon, we've heard different stories from Africa. Um, our viewers will be interested to hear from you what's your experience coming out of Cameroon? I would say for certain it's one experience that no one wants to live in in his lifetime. I mean growing up in Cameroon as a gay person they you have a local term they term you they call you PD which is more like uh, a taboo for someone to hear about that. So growing up, just by having that stigma, you're being treated like an outcast, to say the easiest. And it's the, the law, there's no enforcement to guarantee your freedom, be it in expression or in any form of your actions. So you are, you, by, by just growing up and looking at things, you are bound to be in total secrecy at all times in your life because the, the, the ones you come out to be open or even seen to be a gay person you 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 face more chances of being mocked by the public and to a worse extent face arrestation by the forces of law and order and i can really? say by my personal experience i have been a victim of that twice in my country really? so i can tell you it's sad and wow. it's really a dire situation. So as a gay man in Cameroon, you can't live openly. Is that what you're saying? There is no chance of living openly because just the mere sense of people perceiving you to be gay is even more dangerous than you seem to be living openly. Wow. So there's no possibility at all. It's unfortunate. Um, well, um, now that you are in the UK, um, what's your experience like vis-a-vis -vis to what you have experienced back home in Cameroon? I mean, it's, it's a completely different picture altogether. Yeah. You know, coming to the UK, I came to realize a lot of things. I myself was a victim of self-harm because I, I, I lived most of my adult life thinking that I, I was somehow an outcast or somehow an evil child just because of who I am. Coming to the UK, I've meant to witness inclusivity. I've been here, I'm a member of Out and Proud, an LGBT community that has supported me in tremendous ways that I cannot even imagine. Just the mere sense of that belonging is totally different. I can walk down the streets from south to north, London, east, west, anywhere in the UK priding myself for who I am, doing what I can do for the community without anyone trying to look at me in a way that belittles my personality as a human being. Mm. You get what I mean? So it's a completely different picture. Now, you mentioned being uh, a member of the Art and Proud African LGBTI. Uh, how do you socialize? It is... It is not just a family, but it's a complete union, as I'll call it. Because we don't only integrate with one another to exchange ideas and see into our struggles, but we do a lot of outings. Oh, we, normally have, we normally have meetings where we sit to talk about ourselves. We have, we, as before the coronavirus, we usually meet 
on during weekends to socialize. We have events that we go out there on days like Pride, which is most important for us, which is more like a freedom day for us. We bring out our colors in our differences, and that is, even as we're talking now, is part of that sociality, that mm. openness that we, 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 we feel here in the UK. I agree. I understand. The um, <clears throat> coronavirus pandemic uh, has come with its own challenges. Some of my guests here have shared their experiences. I want you to tell us also, how have you coped? How have you survived so far? I know the lockdown is eased a little bit now, but during the lockdown proper, how did you cope? What challenges were you faced with? Uh, to say the least, it was really tough at the start. All right. Because you could witness life changing at such short notice. Most of the things you used to do, like for us in particular, we were so much into associating week in, week out, weekends we hang out in JY, All right. 56th Street, where we meet for um, regular meetings. Okay. And also going out, partying, hanging out together. But all of that came to a halt, you can imagine, where you can't even go outside, you can't meet with friends. Yeah. But in the mix of that, Out and Proud came up with a great initiative where we had to be included in virtual meetings All right. that you, you possibly can feel that sense of belonging again. If, even though we cannot meet with one another, that we see each other, we talk to each other, even organize virtual parties where we in our own quiet corners we still link up together to see how everyone is doing enjoy and relax and is that by zoom or another platform? zoom of course oh, great. and it was really it was really really fun and oh. not withstanding you know this did not only bring changes to our social life to our finances as well oh and alta proud was even there to provide vouchers for us food vouchers to be able to keep us going during those tough times oh, and God. that in itself I would say we couldn't see each other but we fed it each other. That's really good. Thankfully uh, the virus is being uh, tackled and uh, the lockdown is being eased that's why we are able to be here this afternoon. It's nice having you on this channel and hopefully we'll see you very soon. I would love to be here anytime. Though. Before um, releasing you going tonight, I want you to, uh, because we've got viewers, not only in the United Kingdom, we've got viewers in Europe and back home in Africa. I want you to send a message, look into the camera and advise people back home, say in French if you want to, the camera is yours. Bonsoir mes chers frères, amis et coéquipiers. Je voulais dire une chose. Et aujourd'hui, je suis en Londres. J'ai des possibilités de vivre comme j'ai. J'ai des possibilités de, de choisir ce que je veux. Et ça, c'est tout ce qu'on veut dans la vie. Et je voulais dire à le gouvernement. Ça arrive le moment il faut laisser les gens choisir leur vie. Il faut, il faut mettre les le, le inclusivités pour tous les gens. Quelqu'un n'a pas le droit de choisir à les autres. Et c'est pour ça que j'ai dit à mon frère, le temps est arrivé. Le moment, c'est maintenant. Merci beaucoup. Merci Didier. It's nice having you. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lanvey. Yeah. And it was a pleasure being with right. you.